All right, well, continuing on with our lecture on file management in Unix, uh, we're going to do the copy command, which uh, is very important. We use the copy command quite a bit. And uh, let's just look at the man page here for it. Let's say man cp, and uh, there's the man copy page. It's a little tricky of a uh, command. Uh, some of the things that you think it should do, it really doesn't, and I'll explain that in a minute. Essentially, what it is, and let me, okay, is the word CP copy, and then uh, there are of course flags you can put in it. Uh, there's there's not as many as you might think there should be, but there's a few flags, and then there's a source. You spell it right, and then destination. So you want to copy from and to, and it is actually going to copy. It's going to make. Uh, it's going to replicate from the source and put it into the destination. If you're going to copy a file from a directory and put it back into the same directory, uh, it must have a different name. Uh, if you can, uh, if you want to give it, uh, you can copy it to another destination, another location. If you want to leave it the same name, you can do that, uh, or you can give it a new name. Now, let me show you a simple copy. Okay. Here is our uh, test directory that we're we're using to experiment with. And I'm going to copy uh, road.txt, and I'm going to copy it to, uh, let's say, a backup file, road.back. Okay, so what it's going to do is it's going to take the entire contents of road.txt and copy it bit for bit over into the file called road.back. And I'm going to do an ls, and there is road.back right there. And I do a more on road.back, and ta-da, there it is, cool. And it's clear. Now then, I'm going to go ahead and remove uh, road.back. Uh, I don't need it. It just shows you another command. Now, let me, um, I have a little temporary directory set up here, temp directory. Let me go into that temp directory, cd, temp dr1. Uh, cd stands for change directory. That's another command we'll look at later on. So in that directory, let's, I do ls and there's nothing in it. Okay. So what I want to do here is I want to copy the entire contents of the previous directory into here. Okay, so let me do that. I'm going to say copy. Now the source destination. I have to tell it what directory to copy from. Uh, I either can use the complete path name or I can use what's called a relative path name relative to my current location. That relative path name would be dot dot which is the parent directory up one slash okay okay and then say let's say uh, asterisk and then uh, I say I want to copy it here okay. okay okay now you'll notice here it's omitting directory attempt directory because I didn't say verbose let me do ls and and there are all the files right there the temp directory okay uh, if I would have put the R in there, that actually would have been a mistake because uh, it would have included the directory that I'm uh, currently copying into it, and it wouldn't have liked that. Okay. Well, that's a that, that's an example. Now, you might think it does this. Okay. Let me um, let me uh, remove uh, an asterisk from here. There it goes everything. Uh, let's say that I wanted to copy uh, from the previous directory all of the dat files. And I wanted to rename them BAK files, and, and you would think that that works. It doesn't, and uh, it says target uh, is not a directory. Uh, so it, the renaming or giving them a different name in mass in, and um, using wildcards doesn't work. It doesn't work at all. Um, you either have to rename them one at a time. Um, uh, or copy everything exactly as they are named. Now then, uh, let me show you an example of a uh, copy of a uh, uh, complete path name. Okay, um, I'm, I'm, uh, my username is GatrosD, and uh, I have a directory, and this is actually going to be an assignment uh, in, a, in, the, in the class a little bit later on. Um, if I do a PWD, that's a command, it's called print working directory, and it says I'm in, I'm in home, faculty, GatrosD, test directory, temp1. Okay, that's the complete path name. 
what I'm going to have you do later on is copy the contents of a directory I have in my home directory for a homework assignment. I'm going to kind of show you how to do that right now. All right, so it's a copy, and you put in the complete path name: home, okay, faculty, Gatros D, okay, and the directory is temp directory, asterisk, okay, and I can say period right here, okay. And again, it's omitting a, a temporary directory right there, right there, and there are all the files located. Okay, um, that's one. That's one way to do it. There's actually a couple, but that's that's probably the best way to do it. Okay. Now, what doesn't work? And let me show you. Uh, let me remove asterisk from that again. Okay. Let's let's do that. Some people actually try this. Okay. 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 That didn't work either. Okay, it didn't work because the asterisk where to put it to, it, it, you know, where am I going to send it to? It needs a directory, you know, it needs a location, and an asterisk is not a location, it's a wild card. So it doesn't work uh, very well at all. Let me show you one other way to specify a complete path name without using everything. It's a little trick in Unix. You can say copy uh, tilde Gatros D. Tilde Gatros D says find the username Gatros D, their home directory and uh, go there and I can say temp directory asterisk into period okay and notice that that works too um, that's actually a little trick it's actually a little nicer to use that uh, because you don't have to know the complete path name and where a user is located may vary from uh, machine to machine but uh, uh, slash home slash uh, the group that they're in is usually a pretty good uh, pretty good indication well, that's copy. That's copy. Um, um, showed you how to name it something different and show you how to do copy in mass. Uh, let me show you one other thing, the uh, move command. Okay, let me, let me remove these here. Okay, the move command, um, and move, uh, actually moves or renames. It actually does both. Um, move is actually a relocation so if from the source to destination it will go from the source to the destination and the source will no longer exist okay so that's a uh, something you got to keep in mind here and then we've got a few options in here we don't use many of them we do recursive and we use verbose uh, from time to time but I'm going to show you the move command so let's do this let's move uh, road.txt to road.back and do an ls right there and you can see that it has renamed it. okay again just like the copy command what you cannot do is you can't move uh, asterisk dot dat to uh, asterisk dot back it won't let you do that it says well the sort the targets not a directory again you can't do in mass moves like that we'll show you how to write a uh, unix script to actually do that uh, uh, later on in the class all right well that is move Okay, let's pull up our PowerPoint slides here. And let's bring them over. Okay, there's copy, there's move. Remove, we've already seen that. Uh, remove is uh, uh, remove a file. You can do those in mass too. You can say remove everything that begins with file or remove everything that ends in uh, uh, that. Uh, let me do that here. Let me uh, uh, clear and let me uh, uh, touch. Uh, file 99.dat and uh, touch file 100.dat okay uh, ls so there's a file 100 uh, file that I can say remove file 99.dat and it's gone and remove uh, file 100.dat and um, uh, boom it's gone too okay if I want to remove all the files that ended in back I could say remove asterisk.back and that would work. That's okay. This is an instance where the wildcards actually do work and they work quite well. Okay. Uh, that is remove. Okay. That's a remove directory. That's a good one too. Let's look at that one. And we'll look at this uh, command a little bit later on. Um, oops. Uh, clear. There's a temp directory. And uh, let me go ahead and um, first of all, let me make a directory. Make directory. I'll say temp directory 3 and Alice and there it is and now to remove the directory I can say remove directory 
uh, temp directory 3. Now I want to caution you something. Let me go ahead and show you what this is. Temp directory 3. Okay, pico uh, touch file 1.dat. I'm going to create a file and go back. Now if I try to remove the directory, okay, it says, oh, you can't do it. Or wait a minute. Uh, oh, not empty. Can't remove it. Now, uh, in some cases, let's do a man on remove directory. Uh, there are options which says uh, uh, the item up here says ignore fail on non non empty. The system administrator can actually turn that off, so you can't use it. It forces you to remove the uh, contents of a directory before you uh, delete it. This is a safety feature that prevents you from destroying. Uh, Directories that may contain data. Okay, okay so um, we'll go into uh, temp directory three, and we will remove asterisk, and then we will remove directory temp directory three. Okay, very good. Okay, that is um, uh, the the copy, the move, and um, the uh, remove and remove directory commands. Uh, that's about 11 minutes. I uh, yeah, try to keep these about the same length so you can play them over again conveniently. Uh, on to the next lecture. We're going to be doing uh, a few more directory and uh, file management uh, files. Be sure to uh, go back and view the other two videos. See you in a little bit.